well hello welcome to another video today is tuesday so you know that means it is tutorial tuesdays we got straight into it this video i'm gonna do a wig and sign everybody already know that we do those braids straight to the back so i left that off the camera so what i'm doing right now is of course going ahead taking that got to be spray and pushing those edges back with the blow dryer and the edge brush don't forget this step y'all this is the foundation before the cap these small braids and this slick back matters per usual i'm going to be popping in and out telling y'all some gems and just communicating with y'all as this video goes along so make sure you stay throughout the whole thing Alrighty, now we're gonna jump right into the cap. It's a beige cap, and we're gonna go ahead and place it on her head and cut out those ears. When we cut around the ears and pull the ears out, that's going to give you a flat surface. So when you spray the glass to be around her hairline, it's going to lay and dry flat. As you can see right here, I'm just going along and tracing or spraying the spray where her hairline is. That's also, again, gonna give me a smooth guideline of where to cut once I'm done drying her. After sitting my client to dry for about five to seven minutes, you can see that it's pretty dry and I'm going in with my scissors to trace that line where I sprayed the dots to be. As you can tell, it's going to be really easy because it's literally going to be stuck. So you can cut as close to where that spray is as you possibly can because it's going to help with the next step once you put that makeup and the little bit of glue to make it the ball cap. to go in with my makeup i'm gonna start off by doing my little tester where i just take a little bit of the concealer and tap it on her forehead to make sure that it is the correct color the correct color <laughs> that matches her skin so that we can get a flushed blend for when we place this frontal down to really give the illusion of a bald head or a bald cap i'm gonna go in with my erica j glue and i'm gonna dab a little bit of this product across the front of her head and then we're gonna drag it down and of course let that dry under the dryer for about three minutes it really doesn't take that long and then after that it'll really give that seamless look that we're going for to give the skin underneath this frontal
So we're gonna go ahead and get into this wig. I dyed it off camera. It was a 613 wig. We went ahead and dyed it purple. And what I'm doing right now is just adding that same concealer that I put across the cap onto her lace in the inside. And I think I scraped it across the um, the, the front of her frontal as well. Um, I, I do that sometimes. That's why I'm saying I don't know if I did it this time, but sometimes I do. But I want to make sure that I'm not putting too much makeup because I don't want it to be cakey once I go to lay the glue and everything down. Time to get to melting this wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. I try my best to kind of get the grooves of the wig going with the grooves or her hairline, if that makes sense. Because if you look at a wig or a frontal you can kind of see like where they try to mimic a hairline so i try to really place that onto my client's hairline this is a give or take because sometimes of course everybody has different hairlines so sometimes that wig just may not mimic that specific hairline at all but i do try to get it on there and then i make my adjustments if needed to but what i'm doing right here is just going ahead and cut around the ears and um just measuring exactly where I want to cut my next piece because as you know I don't like to put my frontals down all at once I like to take it about a little bit over a half inch not a half inch but a half of the frontal and lay that down and then I go in with the other little section and lay that down and then what I'm doing right here is going in with that glue of course you guys know it's going to be three layers of this um, once that dries up, we're going to begin to put that lace in there. So what I'm going to do here is um, position her head so that I can get a bit of better angle to show you guys. Um, but usually what I do here is I'm just going to have her tilt her head down towards the light so that the light can shine and reflect off of the glue after it's clear so that you can see it through the lace. And once you do that, it's going to be very easy to know exactly where you should be putting that lace into it. Now remember, when we go to lay the lace into the glue, we want to make sure that it's nothing but hair in there. We don't want any lace, really. We, of course, are going to cut off the excess lace, but as we're laying it into the glue, you want to make sure that more hair than lace is in the glue. And then I'm going to reinforce it with the comb to just get a better stick.
both sides with the comb into the glue i'm gonna go ahead and take my eyebrow razor and we're gonna cut as close to where the hair starts as we can once we have put her down into the glue put the lace down into the glue while having her head pointed down and letting the light reflect where it's going to go it's going to be very simple and very easy to know exactly where we're going to be cutting so the objective is to cut as much lace off as possible and if you follow the steps that I just previously said then it will be super easy to cut off just lace. So what I'm going to do from here is take that same concealer and I'm going to dust it across the front of the hairline. This is going to give me the best melt and then I'm going to take my fusion spray and spray it across the top and I'm going to lay her down with this lace pin and put her under the dryer for about five to seven minutes. You can always do longer, but honestly, five to seven minutes is really good. After five to seven minutes, my tito off under the dryer, and baby, look at that melt, honey. It's coming straight out the scalp. That purple is purpling. That is her hair, okay? And basically what we're going to do from here is I'm going to just go ahead and comb out all the hair that I didn't comb out from after plucking. So usually I honestly just be plucking the hair and then I'll comb out all the excess hair that needs to come out after I get it on your head and after I get it melted. But if you looking at this right now, baby, you can agree that this thing is melted, okay? We're gonna give my Vicky a good old middle part, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice the middle of her head. And then after we do that, y'all already know, first of all, you know that middle part be like surgery. Like why is the middle part always like surgery? Really trying to make sure that we getting it literally down the center of her head. But moving on, we're going to do these edges now. I be trying my best to get them literally perfect, but there is just no such thing. Now, first of all, let me pause real quick because if you can see my hair, I know we looking at her hair, but look at my hair for a second because baby, that lace on my head is definitely laid. And I did my own hair. We gonna talk about that. Let me know if y'all want some tutorials of me doing my own hair because that thing was laid. I just had to point that out. Anyways, yeah, so we're going in doing the edges. I'm just making sure that they are even. Like I said in my last video, edges are like eyebrows. They're not twins, they're sisters. So do the best you can at making sure that they are even. So what we're going to do here is take the Sleek Me Out wax stick and we're going to apply that to the top of the hair where the part is. Um, this is going to ensure that you get a really sleek and flat install. I actually go ahead and make a few parts 
um, just throughout the frontal and apply that same product that's going to give me a very flushed and flat um, result at the end just period so I definitely recommend that if you don't do that that's going to take your install from super flat to extremely flat That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she like. <laughs> Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they set. Y'all was tuned in back in. I swear they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Now we're going to go in with that hot comb on top of that product to get that flatness. You can see here how it's going to become very sleek. So after we have flattened everything out with a hot comb, I'm going to go in with my razor and I'm going to cut diagonally. Uh, the diagonal cut is going to help when it's time to swoop those edges. Then I'm going to take my um, small flat iron to curl my edges, which is also going to help me get that good swoop. From here you can tell how laid this wig is honey you can see nothing but skin scalp and purple hair so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my client that blow dryer because like I said in my last video that helps me get the baby hairs done um, if you try to spray the guys to be and kind of just work it on its own it's going to be a longer process than needed because the drying process of the guys to be takes a lot longer um, when you're just trying to do it on your own so go ahead and ask your client to hold that dryer um, here like I said that flat iron is going to help you get a really good swoop and I'm using my thumb here to kind of hold the beginning of the swoop in place and as I said before you want to make sure that you take your time when you're doing your baby hairs because this definitely does make or break the style.
now that I have all the baby hairs in place, I'm going to go ahead and put her hair in a ponytail and I'm going to strap the straps in the back. Like I said, some people don't want their hair to be or their wig to be sold to their hair. Some people prefer just the straps and that's totally fine. Honestly, baby, at this point, how the wigs be aging and how hot they be, this is my preferred method. But you know, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Angles, 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 angles don't lie. What I'm gonna do here is go ahead and begin the process of curling. We're gonna do some beach wave curls on my girl. Um, I love me a good beach wave curl. It is the cutest, softest style. Um, aside from straight, what I'm gonna do is kind of self-explanatory. I think it's easier to see it than me trying to explain it. And of course, Mega and Major are going to continuously come through this video because it was a Saturday and this is what kids do here on a Saturday. <laughs>
a bit of curling i hope you kept up with me if you are still here and would like a curling tutorial please drop a comment below and i can get a curling tutorial there for you as you can see this is a pretty easy loose curl um basically what i'm doing is i'm just combing everything to the back and then i'm combing it down and that's when it's going to give me those effortless waves something very simple and then we're gonna go back in of course to flatten everything out at the top to make everything super seamless and super neat Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking those same small little um, flat irons and I'm just kind of giving um, the front of her hair a little volume. This is something that I really like to do. I just love the way it falls and I love the way it just swoops in the front of her head. I'm the type of girl who likes the hair to fall towards the face, so that's usually what I do. And then here what I'm doing is I'm straightening out the ends of her curls or her waves because I just... That's what gives that very neat looking beach wave. my fusion spray and I'm just going to spray it at the top because it gives me that secure hold and flatness. Okay y'all and that pretty much wraps up this video and here are the results. I hope that you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next Tuesday.